Freedom Scientific, a Vespero brand. Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us. We are going to be talking about today JAWS Power Tips for Productivity, both at work and at play. This is a power tip all about teaching JAWS to ignore iframes. And iframes are just an abbreviation of inline frames. And in case you don't know what those are, they are just essentially buckets that a web developer can add to a page and they can add anything to that bucket or basket that they want. So it can be good stuff or it can be not so good stuff that you don't want to see. So for example, you may be reading along on the web and you're taking in information, you're having a great time reading text and all of a sudden you find yourself in the midst of an ad for a prescription medicine that you don't take. And there's links and maybe even videos and all kinds of things. And it's sometimes an effort to navigate yourself back to your text because you've encountered a frame or an iframe or a bucket filled with ads on that page. And it can really interrupt your reading experience. So let's talk about how you can teach JAWS to turn them off so that it completely ignores those iframes and you may have a better reading experience depending on your web page. I like to do a lot of cooking, so I chose this example here, which is the um, 101 Cookbooks website. And there are some ads here that you encounter when you're reading. So I like to keep inline frames turned off here so that I can read my recipes more easily. And this works on several different pages. We'll talk about some more examples in just a moment. I'm gonna center myself at the top of this page. Hmm, let's refocus ourselves here. Menu. Leaving menus, healthy recipes and here we go. Control home. Healthy recipes and and you can look at a list of your frame of the iframes on a page with insert F9. Frames list dialog. List one list view. Page UI. One of ten. Oak. Page container FY2 and the Buedo I always 21 at GE. And what I find is that a lot of times these ads are labeled like this. It's almost gibberish. And sometimes they're not, sometimes they're labeled properly, but since they're constantly changing. It's the nature of the code that um, it's time consuming to name them and they don't get named. Page container display sandbox, three of 10. Oh, that even kind of went with my analogy. Okay, so I'm in the list. I'm gonna hit escape. Escape, healthy recipes and- I'm back on the page. And like I said, I know this web page, and this is a really key part of teaching JAWS to ignore iframes. I'm familiar with the frames that are on this page. You don't wanna ignore frames universally because like I said, sometimes those buckets have really good stuff in them you wanna see. And so on this page, I know I'm usually encountering ads in these frames. And so I'm gonna tell JAWS to ignore them. To do that, I'll use- Healthy recipes and whole foods. Insert six on the number row to open up settings center. Zet JAWS settings center dialog, search box edit, control plus E. All right, and here's the part that's super important. If you want to teach JAWS to ignore iframes on the web, you need to do it web, web page specific. I'm gonna press, Control Shift W. Jaws Settings Center 101 Cookbooks.com.jcf. You'll hear Jaws announce that it's now changed, focuses on the setting just for this page. And I'll tap. Tree View, zero. Search box edit. Control. I'll just put myself in the search field. I'll search for the word inline. I N L I N E. Ignore inline frames. One of one search. One search results list box. Ignore inline frames not checked. Headings and frames web. And I pressed down arrow there and it's not checked right now. So I'll check it. Space checked with space and then tab. Read only edit. Apply button. I'll enter. One search results. And I applied Read it. Only. OK button. Enter. And then tab Help to OK. Recipe. So I'm back on my web page here. Sometimes I like to hit F5. F5. Refresh. Because it's silly and Help I like recipes. it doesn't know what I did sometimes. Still and loading. now I will go ahead and press insert F9. Loading complete. Once again, no frames found, healthy recipes at Facebook. And I'm able to read my recipes with a better reading experience because I taught JAWS to, or told JAWS I wanted it to ignore iframes on this specific web page. But perhaps I was reading something else. Let's go take a look at my second example. Meeting can, using the HTML tag to create. All right. So I have a using different the HTML. article here, and this is a blog article that's all about inline frames. Um, F5, refresh. And using if the I, HDF. 
would like to not use insert F9 to bring up a list of frames, the quick nav key to go through frames is M. Link photo image of BBC Studios. Ah, oh, so I've pressed M and it's moved me to the first iframe on this page, which sounds like, oh, this could be an ad, but let's down arrow from here and see what it is. Link massive volcanoes in Flamingo Colony Wild South America BBC. Watch later as Rachel Buchanan. And what I've encountered here is one of the iframe buckets, so to speak, full of a YouTube video that I wouldn't want to miss because it could be a part of what I'm reading. And so here is a good example of a place you don't want to turn off iframes. You don't want to teach JAWS to ignore it. I'll press insert F9. Using the HTML tag to create massive volcanoes in Flamingo Colony Wild South America BBC YouTube one of one. And that is the only frame on this page. So if I had not pressed Control Shift W to keep it specifically to that page, I would also be not seeing this right now. Freedom Scientific, a Vespero brand. To stay up to date on upcoming webinars and training events, complete the sign up form at freedomscientific.com forward slash webinars. Thanks again for connecting with us.